So as a lot of you know, I have been working on the summer seasonal version of my island and I typically work on the exterior during stream. I'll work on it, get it about halfway done and then never finish it. So I have a couple areas that I wanna work on today that have not been finished yet. I'm so excited to show you. If you've seen my last video, you've seen what these areas kinda of look like, but I don't think you know that they're not quite done. <laughs> I've been slowly working on transitioning the island to summer, i.e. changing the flowers out for more colorful, bright, fun, poppy flowers, as well as adding palm trees and just giving it more of like a tropical vibe in general. Bushes, bushes are big. But the first area that I really wanna work on today is this pool. So I downloaded this pool code and it's pretty rad, freaking rockin'. But I have a couple items that I'm missing from this build, as well as I didn't get rid of this side yet. This used to be a big farm. It was a farm city up in here. And then I changed everything to be a pool for it to be more summer-like and totally forgot about this. <laughs> so that's what we need to do today. We need to take all of this up, throw it away, and add in some of the missing items. So let's go. Before we jump in, are you tired all the time? Because same, that could be due to so many different factors, but dehydration is definitely one of them. Did you know that three out of four Americans are dehydrated? This was news to me. Soda, coffee, and alcohol, my three favorite things, can really do a number and dehydrate your body. That's where today's sponsor, Liquid IV comes in. Liquid IV is an electrolyte drink mix that delivers hydration to your bloodstream faster than water alone. The first time that I tried Liquid IV was when I was in Vegas, and let me tell you, it really saved my little buns from a hangover, and it really kept me pumped up for Vegas. It was awesome. I also like to use the hydration multiplier mix after I go to the gym. It helps me rehydrate after that physical activity and get electrolytes into my body. Of all the flavors I've tried, I would say that the lemon lime mix is my favorite and strawberry is a close second. Using Liquid IV has helped with my constantly low energy levels and saved me and my friends from so many hangovers. If you'd like to give Liquid IV a try, feel free to use my code list the last for 25% off at checkout as well as free shipping or check out the link in my description. So I have my handy dandy storage shed. I've got to get a shovel out. Forgot that that's something that I might need. And of course we got to get rid of all of the crops. I have another farm elsewhere on the island that I think I'm gonna keep intact just because it's so useful to have the vegetables. And I believe my other farm does have at least one of everything, so that's good. But farms are not really super summer to me. Kind of unfortunate to say, but I think it's true. I wanna make it more of like a tropical fun vibe and add some more trees and stuff to give it some height. We are lacking height. I guess the first step here is to get rid of this path. I need to put down a little, what do you, how do you say? <laughs> how do you say? I need to put down a little sand thing so that I can grow a coconut tree. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be a coconut tree and then probably right behind the mailbox here is gonna be, I don't know, maybe a bamboo. I suppose we could just wing it, right? Right? <laughs> All right, let's see, coconut going in. Oh, that looks so good already. I love that it hangs over the path to, mm, that's so good. Okay, now please let me put a hmm, bamboo tree here. Yes, Oh, I always get so scared when I'm close to the water that it's not gonna let me. Okay, what's up next? I love having a storage shed near my entrance so that I can trade much easier. So I think I'm just gonna plop this guy right in this spot. I think we are severely lacking tiki torch on this side of the island. That is so summer. I have sort of a formula going for how I'm making certain areas look summery. It's working out pretty well for me so far. What happened to all my other flowers? I just traded with everybody and I got so many, oh, there they are, right in front of my eyes. <laughs> I have a lot to work with. Shout out everybody who's traded with me, you guys rock. And even though you can't really see these flowers super well, they're there. And I think that's what really matters here. And how about we'll add a puddle? Sure. Oh yeah. Okay, one more flower. It's fine. Looking good. Okay, that is very tropical over there. Now my other plan here. I want to put down these poolside beds. Okay, maybe facing the other direction though. Come on, help me out here, Animal Crossing. Poolside beds 
bed. That looks good. Maybe I can add a custom design later. I don't really have one that I think would work super well at the moment. But if I get the item down, I can do all that later. And then I have a table there. Watch this. It's gonna look so epic. Oh shoot, I should have put it down the other, hold on. <laughs> oh, lovely, look at that. And I've been trying to decide what am I gonna put on top of this little table. This is our first option the water dispenser. I also think something that could be very appropriate is coconut juice. I don't know, she's looking pretty good. I like that. So yeah, okay, there we go, that is all good. Was there anything else that I had? Not really. Um, There is one thing that I did grab, a wind turbine, and I'm thinking that I wanna add her somewhere. Where are you? Where did you go? They also add so much height. Oh God, is this 2 p.m.? Oh wait, I can't do this. Am I gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to time travel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just my little heart can't take it. But hey, check it out. After we time travel, we're gonna work on another area, but this one is pretty much done. I do like to keep it open in the front for trading purposes, it's super useful. So if it feels a little empty, it's kind of on purpose. I still think that it looks fabulous, darling. All right, get me out of here. I can't do it anymore. I'm gonna time travel to a time where there's a song that I like. Welcome to 3 p.m., <laughs> much more fitting. Nothing wrong with 2 p.m. music. I don't wanna be a hater, but it's just excessive for longer than one minute. We're gonna move on to our lake. I have just like two items that I wanna throw on the dock right here. I don't wanna obstruct too much of the space, the area, but I do love that fishing rod stand. I think it's gorgeous, especially for a dock. I mean, come on. And life ring. And then, you know, it is still possible to fish here if I really wanted to, but I do have other lakes if it doesn't work out. Move this flamingo over. That makes more sense to me. Yes, that looks good. Okay, cute. So the next thing that I have is this boardwalk. Whoa, I don't think this is a dock, but it is a boardwalk. And as you can see, a lot of the little stalls are empty. So I grabbed a couple items to hopefully fill it out. When I was building this, I just didn't have anything like straight up, just didn't have anything that I could fill this with besides these two plushies. Guess what I have today? A goldfish. And when you place the goldfish, it comes in a beautiful little bowl. But I think that that is so cute for like carnival games vibes. Okay, and then what do I have next? Oh yeah, I have this shell music box. Do I have any beachy tunes? I think a lot of my stuff is overwhelmingly not beachy. You know what? One of my favorite songs right here, KK Disco. Oh, it's a music box. Oh, I don't think a music box is really cool for the dock. Never mind. No, we're not doing lullabies at the lake. That is not the vibe. Stop! I do wish I had more of like a tropical KK song, but I can't even think of one right now. So KK Disco it is. Yes, I love KK Disco. Okay, so the other items that I have, puppy plushie, we do have coconut juice. Oh, we do still have that infused water dispenser. Okay, next up I have this popcorn snack set that I thought was interesting. Not super docky, I don't really know. I don't know what I'm doing. But you can't go wrong with a coconut juice. <laughs> if anybody has good ideas of how to like make it look like a carnival boardwalk dock type of thing, let me know. I'm pretty constricted with the items that I can place because this is about all the room that I have, you know? I'm always open to suggestions. I need you guys to tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, I think we're confident enough to say that the lake boardwalk dock is done. I mean, I can't guarantee that I'm not gonna change it a million times. Okay, so next up is my seasonal area of the island. As you can tell, it is still decorated for bunny day. Guess what's over? Bunny day. I'd love to decorate this for the next holiday event coming up. Right now, it's we're really looking forward to like fishing bug tourney, bug off fishing tourney. But something else that's coming up is the fireworks. I saw a comment left on my video to do a fireworks area and I absolutely want to do that. So I have a bunch of stuff here that I could place down. There is one thing that I think I'm missing though, cotton candy stall. So I, remind me I need to order that. But it is time to say goodbye 
to the bunny day. Unfortunately, you are no longer serving me anymore. Gotta get rid of this tree and maybe this tree too. I've been trying to replace the regular trees with fruit trees around my island. The regular trees are the ones that turn into cherry blossom trees during cherry blossom season. So I have an abundance of those and they're a little bit boring. Gotta whip out the app again. I forgot that I time traveled. <laughs> okay, so what if this was an orange tree? Nice, nice. Can I plant a coconut tree here? Yes, I can. Looks fabulous, doesn't it? And then I can still put the little party lights back here too. Mm -hmm. And then she's more front and center. I love that. So what I have are two bamboo benches that I want to use as tables to hold some of the fireworks stuff. I have zero idea how we're gonna lay this out. So it might take me a second to figure out exactly what we're doing here. But like, this might be the vibe. Don't sit. Don't sit, Marcel. Do not sit. It just seems like really empty and kind of like boring though, don't you think? Okay, would it look cooler to do a festival stall? And then I have another one and I could do them like this. I don't know, that just feels too uniform. Let me experiment for a second and I'll come back at you with my final idea. <laughs> Is this cute? Instead of making these tables, let's just keep them as little benches and hopefully my villagers will actually sit on them because they don't really do anything in the areas that I decorate, it's very sad. We have like the tiki torch, the balloon I think is so cool. Oh, maybe instead of doing the yellow balloon, we'll do the festival balloon. Yes, the lamp. Yeah, the festival stuff is way summery fun for me, I like it. Yeah, this is tough, I'm not super confident with this one. Let me know what you do different. I bet you, you guys have way better ideas than I, but this is kind of what it's looking like right now. Custom designs are for sure gonna fix this. It's my favorite custom design to ever exist of all time. It's beautiful. I love them, regardless of if you think they're daisies, or if you think they are eggs, they are perfect. Okay, I swapped a couple things so that I could put the party lights over there too. Let me put some flowers and some weeds down, very minimally, and I'll come back at you with the final. Just kidding, I only had space for one flower, no weeds. I really like it though. I think it's gonna work super well for our fireworks event. And you might notice that up here is not done either um, for summer at all. Am I gonna do it right now? Mm. Ugh, no, I'll do it later, I promise. And I'm not just saying that, it will get done. So here's another area that I haven't done anything to because of my whole villagers moving in and out debacle. So we have Toby living here as well as Monty. Is that his name? I don't know, I just met him. Yes, Monty is indeed his name. That was really bad of me to forget that. <laughs> I feel horrible. So I'm gonna tear it down and try something even though I haven't edited their house exteriors at all yet. I think we're gonna go with more of Toby's side of the yard. His house exterior I think is perfect for this island and it fits him really well. I think with Monty, I'm gonna do something similar with the blue, but not so like drab, sad blue. And maybe have like the architecture match Monty, or er, Toby's a little bit more than how his is right now. I just haven't gotten around to decorating his house yet. Let's get her done. Let me tear everything out and I'll come back to you with a clean slate. Do I keep the rock? I'm probably gonna get rid of the rock. The pathing looks okay. The trees are a little bit boring. I don't see anything wrong with digging them up. Maybe a bamboo tree in the back would be nice. I don't, mm, I actually don't know if I like that at all. I hate it, I hate it. Sorry, sorry about that folks. Okay, rock is officially gone. I hope I don't regret this. It'll go back somewhere. You know what I've decided though is I need to get one or two items from my storage and that is the handy dandy fence. I only have one right now. Oh no. What am I gonna do with only one fence? That's so awkward. We'll put it on this side right there and something here. <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but it's gonna be something. God, I wish I could plant a tree right there. That would be so cool. Instead, maybe I'll do this flag. Okay, my actual master plan was to put a tiki bar. I don't have a lot of places that I'm willing to totally demolish and put a tiki bar, and this is one of those places, so I think I'm gonna live out my dream. I have quite the mix of furniture here though, so let's see what you guys think. I took out the items in the back because I thought they looked a little weird because this tree just like 
really takes up a lot of space, don't you think? I love that Gail is all up in my business. Like, yes, please come hang. Oh, and Toby is here. He's so adorable and he has such style. Like, look at him. What a cutie. Uh, so here's a compromise for the tiki bar. I wish that I could move the tree up, but I can't unless I want to put it like right smack dab in the middle right here. That's not a terrible option. Let me try it. Yeah, no, this is way better. But I think if we move it to the center, everything kind of needs to be centered. Even though this is an extreme fire hazard, I am putting the tiki torches right there underneath. Oh, that looks so weird. Okay, wait, everything's coming down. Nope, Gail. Oh my God. Get out. Get out. Okay, yes. Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna fix the pathing around the houses. After that, we'll try to figure out what we're doing with the back of this build, but hey, I think it's a pretty big success thus far. Check in. I added some stuff. I think I'm good on Monty's path here. It at least looks good for now until we figure out what's going on with this house exterior. Dunno. Over here, I am having a little a little bit of a hard time with Toby. You know what I think the problem is? Too much tree, unfortunately. Now, something that I wish that I had was more fence, but for the time being, she could be kind of a placeholder here. Oh God, no, that does look pretty awful. Oh no. This is where it gets tough. I feel like I'm at a brain block. I sometimes I have like spurts of creativity and then they fade so quickly, but I'm still stuck on fence going all the way around his house. So like, imagine that we have two more fence going up. I can like always adjust that stuff back there. Two more fence going up that I just don't have right now. I'm not sure what to do right here. I do have do, 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 do. the party lights. Ayo. Instead of doing a fence, cause then it's really hard to get into the tiki bar. We'll do party lights. That's so fun. I would love to gather some more items and come back to it in usual list fashion. I'm never gonna finish anything when I'm doing it. All of my inspiration and drive to do this is pretty much gone. <laughs> but I'm getting real sick of decorating my island right now. I don't think I could do it anymore. So yeah, stay tuned. Let me know, of course, if you have suggestions on any of these builds that I did today. Not too bad, I actually got something done, which I love. Thanks gamers. Don't forget to check out my socials. I am on Twitch and hanging out over there doing Animal Crossing stuff, Sims, Stardew Valley. Of course, my other socials are down below as well. Feel free to check everything out. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so. And I will see you in the next one.